my soccer universe. Yes, it was a Scandinavian evening yesterday, that's for sure. Uh, with two Scandinavian teams qualifying, Sweden and the one that I really would like to have a shirt of, Finland, for the first time ever. Bravo, and it is without Jari Littmanen, uh, probably the best Finnish player, but I'm pretty excited about Finland, to be honest. Um, and Denmark also almost qualified. Um, yeah, we'll talk about it. Let's go right to that. It was actually quite interesting. I mean, Denmark played Gibraltar and did not have much trouble. I mean, that it was only 1-0 at the half was probably down to Gibraltar hanging in there. Uh, right after the half, all hell break loose. And I have to say, the goalkeeping was really bad. Really bad. I mean, um, second goal, completely misjudged. Third goal, uh, full stretch, cannot hold on to, to the ball. And it's uh, within 50 minutes, it's 3 0. So, um, sorry. It just is not cutting it. So, yeah, uh, that was definitely uh, the fun. Part for the Danish fans, Eriksen gets one. I think the, the craziest one was the sixth one. So yeah, Denmark gets three points. And this would have been enough if Switzerland uh, loses at home to uh, Georgia. Yes, Switzerland was for most of the time the better team. Uh, playing in their wonderful, not um, new away jerseys. I don't get all these colors on there and why they have the darker red. If you look at the Swiss flag, it looks completely lost on these jerseys. Uh, Switzerland had, ch had a chance in more of the game. However, um, Georgia had the more of the best chance where Siddig, he hits the post uh, and Switzerland was flirting with disaster all along. I mean, I made some mental math uh, I watched that game and I had, of course, Romania, uh, Sweden on. After the Italy game, I said, let's do Switzerland because this really seems to be a nail biter for the second half. And Switzerland, <laughs> yeah, it was a tough game for them. Let's put it, uh, let's say it was a tough game for them. It was not easy to um, get a grip on it. And yeah, uh, I did the mental math and I said, okay, a uh, draw for Switzerland is probably enough if, because they then play Gibraltar. Um, however, a loss, that would be catastrophic because then Denmark uh, would be qualified and uh, can probably play a second strength squad and let Ireland qualify. So yeah, um, at that moment, cross in and uh, was it Illa? It was a new guy who had it in. Uh, after a wonderful com combination, it has to be said. Itten, not Illa. Itten. Yeah, uh, I, because of they have, again, Puma decided to put on Swiss jersey all lowercase letters. This should be forbidden. Uh, they don't do it for Italy, though. So I have some hope that it will not be for Austria either. So gets the 1 nil. Then uh, Georgia has another chance to at least get an equalizer, but all ends with a Swiss win. So in that group. If we it is now Denmark ahead with 15 points, followed by Switzerland 14, Ireland 12. Uh, Switzerland will get the win and will qualify, so it is between Ireland and Denmark. And if Ireland wins, they leapfrog Denmark because they would win the head-to-head. -head. It's actually quite interesting. I think Denmark wins the head-to-head -head over Switzerland, Switzerland over Ireland, Ireland over Denmark, if they win the last one. So that's a pretty big game right there. Uh, let's go to the uh, next group, which is um, Group uh, F, uh, where Norway had no problem with uh, beating the Faroe Islands 4-0. Um, Spain also, of course, no problem uh, to beat Malta 7-0. It was only 2-0 at the half. Um, goals came uh, came late, came then in the second, and many of those, uh, with many uh, first team goals for uh, Spain, has to be said too. But uh, the big game was, of course, Romania against Sweden, um, where it was basically a do-or-die game for Romania. Um, they needed to get the win in there. Um, it was interesting to see the yellow uh, of Romania against the blue of Sweden. I really like the blue jerseys. Um, but what I find what I find even funnier that in the stands, the yellow section, that was the Swedish fans. The Romanian fans were all in black, and this. <clears throat> I have seen this for quite a while. I want to know why. I actually have some feeling that there's quite some political tensions coming in there. But, you know, uh, fill me in. Uh, it was Romania tried and then 
Kraken with the first real attack makes it 1-0 through Berg and in the second way Quaison who initiates the attack with a wonderful attacking move again over, over Berg um, drops it to Quaison completely um, uh, confuses the Romanian defense and makes it 2-0 for Sweden and that was more or less the game in the second half Sweden just needed to sit back and hold uh, hold off of course Romanian fans were not as uh, happy I think there was even um, they hit the bar as well I want to say Forsberg um, Romanian fans then got really annoyed and um, booed and uh, whatever the um, uh, Isaac the black Swedish, Swedish player was a real low point of the evening. The referee even stopped the game for a little bit. I actually think um, it should have been abandoned uh, again. It was, it's not a pretty sight to be honest. But yeah, Sweden with that win qualifies as the Spain. So with Spain and Sweden through, uh, Romania and Norway um, can may, uh, will make the playoffs more or less. We see this and uh, Ferro Alice and Malta are last. And then we go to the final group, which is Group J, where um, Greece gets a win in Armenia. Uh, Greece, actually, I didn't see the high highlights, but that actually made me quite happy. Um, and Italy has really no problem with Bosnia and Herzegovina. I actually said, although Italy is qualified, the first game was such a great game uh, between Italy and uh, Bosnia that I want to watch this one. No, it wasn't. I mean, Acerbi in the 21st uh, makes uh, it 1 0, and Insigne with a really weird goal that rolled more or less in makes it uh, 2 0, and there was really not much time from Bosnia. And when Belotti in the 52nd makes it 3 0, the game was done and dusted. At that moment, I was not watching anymore. Then I went to the Switzerland game. But for me, the big game in that group was, of course, Finland against Liechtenstein. I saw most of it, not with full attention. Uh, they had an early goal ruled out for offside correctly. So, uh, Tuominen in the 21st makes it 1-0. And you could see the jubilations in the Finnish crowd in a small stadium in Helsinki. Uh, but I thought this was smart to play it there. Second half, I think Liechtenstein didn't really show much uh, pukki. Converts the panel 64th and the 75th, a really uh, cra crazy goal where Puki is free, um, has a uh, clear on goal, take, takes a shot, but there's a Liechtenstein defender on the um, uh, line and hits him in the face. And basically, the ball, the rebound goes directly back to Puki. And since the Liechtenstein defender is kind of uh, pulled away, he just puts it between the post and the defender into the net, makes it 3 0. Uh, once the final whistle was blown, all hell broke loose. I mean, I have not seen people with so much joy running onto the field. I know it's not good, but I hope UEFA doesn't go crazy, crazy on that. I know they tried to, uh, there were some Finnish players to say, please stay, please stay. No, there was no hole holding back. This was a historic moment for Finland, for the first time qualified for the Euros in the table. Italy, 9 out of 9, 10 wins in a row. Um, Believable what Italy is doing at the moment. Yes, it's not the strongest of groups, but still um, This looks pretty convincing. I have to say Finland is through and Greece now is in third place with 11 points Armenia uh, and Bosnia 10 and Liechtenstein only two. I think I'm mostly disappointed by Bosnia uh, So if we look now at uh, qualified teams, we have three more so um, to the ones that we had yesterday Spain Sweden and Finland are added. I still make some projections here. I think the only ones that are a little bit shaky is with, is Denmark here that could be beaten by Ireland and Croatia Slovakia. I think everything else is gonna happen. I don't see Portugal not qualifying, neither Netherlands, Germany, Switzerland, no, uh, and Austria also. I think it's really the group E and of course Denmark, those are the three that I have some doubts. So with that, if everything remains like that, we know how to fill in the playoffs meanwhile. So we put Iceland in A1, then we take all the four teams from League B, put them in through B1 to B4, League C Ditto, League D Ditto, and then the three remaining places for League A will be filled in with whatever comes, and this is all League C teams. So we get um, Iceland would play Romania at home, Israel against Hungary the way it stands in the League A playoffs. In League B playoffs we had Bosnia against Northern Ireland, Wales against Ireland, that would be an interesting one. Uh, League C playoffs Scotland, Bulgaria, Norway, Serbia and the League D playoffs Georgia, Belarus and Macedonia, Northern Macedonia against the Kosovo. So yeah, 
interesting. As for tonight's games, I'm actually not quite sure how I well, well what I will be watching. I mean, Croatia, Slovakia sticks out to me, but also Northern Ireland, Netherlands is an interesting one, and of course Austria is also playing. And early on we have Russia, Belgium, uh, kind of as a warm up. So let's see. Anyway, sorry was not super coherent in, in this video, but I hope you still get something out of it. Um, it's testing times at, at the moment. Anyway, give me a thumbs up if you still enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, consider subscribing to my channel to keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day. Bye.